Hi, my name is Angela Lydon. I'm a National Development Officer for Special Olympics MATP and I'm also a Complex Needs Teacher at the West Silkings in Leeds. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some ideas for using school equipment for kicking while sitting. Um, different students have different chairs. Uh, a lot of students, particularly those with complex body shapes, may be in a reclined position when they're in their chairs, which can make it really difficult because the first thing you do when you want to see your feet is you lean forward to look and a lot of our students can't do that. Um, so we need to help them as much as possible to make the impact that their kick has as big and loud as possible. So I'm going to just start with a couple of ideas. Skittles. Skittles are amazing. We love Skittles. They're big, they're clattery, they make a massive impact. And um, so when you are do first doing kicking in sitting, you can get Skittles or a tower of bricks or a tower of drinks can, something that's loud and clattery, as close to their feet as possible. And they just need to move them, move their foot or do a big kick and kick those Skittles down. And following on from that, there's lots of different balls and different things that we can kick. So one of the things that really will give you a big impact for a small effort, it is amazing what sort of tiny kick is needed for a balloon to move. And you can, you can differentiate and make that gradually more difficult by making the balloon a little bit heavier so it doesn't go quite as far by wrapping some chiffon around it. You can use a balloon ball. Um, some balloon balls, you, you get different balloon balls, some are ball shaped and so work and behave a little bit more like a ball, some are balloon shaped but once again they're fantastic because um, they are soft and you will get a good response for a small kick but slightly more so than a balloon. Then you move on to some of the bigger heavier balls and often it's particularly if you then decide to start kicking to a target which I've got here with, with the Skittles, um, you would start using bigger, heavier balls. Sometimes, particularly for ambulance students who are um, not always inclined to look towards their feet, a big physio ball, some, some you can get them that, that are this high, uh, is a really good way of getting them to look at their feet and kick because they see it a lot more easily. They don't actually physically have to look down to see it. So physio balls, good. A big soft balls like this that also have a bell in them. They're very good. They're heavy, so you have to make an effort to kick, but you can kick them in bare feet, stocking feet, um, because they, they're nice and soft and they won't do any, they won't cause any bruises on those toes. Um, and then you can use bigger, harder balls. This is a standard goal ball. It's heavy, but it's got a bell in the middle and it's hard, so it gives good feedback through shoes and things. And because it's heavy, it will knock down plenty of skittles if you kick it. One of the other things that is very useful when you're doing kicking is when you are setting up a ball for your student to kick, it's quite invaluable for putting the ball in. Um, also, it can make it that little bit harder for the student to kick it. Um, and it can, um, as they have to kick it out of the hoop. Um, but they're just really, really good, as you can see, for stopping your ball rolling away. Um, the other thing that we can use is if your student um, is in a wheelchair and their feet are that bit higher for the foot plates, just get a box, any sort of box, and just put the ball on top of it. This is one that most special needs classrooms will have. It's a washing up bowl, upside down washing up bowl. So if I can see if I can get how high I can get my chair. There you go, so my legs are swinging. So it would be hard for me to kick the ball so we've got the ball on the washing up ball and here, I can, and we've got a coit on the washing up ball as well to stop it rolling and here I can just show you, I can kick it to knock over the skittles. Finally, when you're doing kicking sitting down, it will be really good with your more able students if you've got somebody who is able to maintain their own sitting. If you were to do kicking with on a stool or a bench with no back support because that would really mean when they're lifting their legs up to kick, they're having to use their core muscles and it'll just challenge them that little bit more. And there are some ideas for kicking when sitting. 